Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss a very interesting problem from a contest hosted on Codechef named Code Fiesta, the problem 4. The first two problems are very easy, you can like solve them out, if you still have any doubts you can mention that in my telegram channel. The third problem is good, you can use prefix sums, I will like most probably put a video on this also if you want. But the third question is good because there are a lot of doubts regarding this, so I have made a video on this. So let's discuss this question. Actually, the question is ZOR and XNOR series. So as you know what a Fibonacci series is in which it is just a summation of n-1 and n-1 term. Now they have made a Zoranaki series and X, like XNORANAKI series in which X, you have to do a XOR of the n-1 term and n-2 term. And same you have to do a XNOR for like n-1 and n-2 term. And you have to write down the series whereas the first term and second term is a and b for both the series now you have to find out the maximum of like if you like write down this series then you have to print out the maximum among the nth term of both of these series so like if you write down the series the nth term which is the maximum among this nth term so you just have to print out that so that's the whole question because n a b are very large you cannot like just do it brute force way but in such type of question always try to find out some relation or some like like pattern in this series because you have to print a series now so it's better to print out or just write down 10 to 12 first terms of this series of both of these series and like try to compare both of these series it will help you like draw some conclusions so first we will understand what is ZOR and XNOR and then we will like print some series okay so what is like XNOR and what is ZOR so for ZOR, like first understand what is AND, like you know what is AND now, but the AND is actually if you take two bits and if both of them set, then only we will give one, then only AND will give one. If any of the bit is zero, if you do an AND of two bits and both of them set, then only it will give one. If any of the bit is zero, then like the answer will be zero. But for ZOR, the condition is if both of the bits are like different then only it will give 1 or else if both of the bits are same then it will give 0 that's the logic for ZOR and for XNOR what you can understand is like it's just the reverse of it if both of the bits are different then it will give 0 if both of the bits are same then it will give 1 so that's the logic for ZOR and XNOR now there's a predefined function or like a logical operator like this which you can use to find out like ZOR but there is no operator to find like XNOR so like because you also want to find out this XNOR so how you can find out XNOR is just like if you take two numbers let's assume that you have these two numbers the first number is like this and the second number is like this it is just up to this and the first number is like this which is big so what you can do here is first add some buffer values to this number and then iterate over the larger number and what you can do if both of the bits are same then put 1 if both of the bits are same 1 if both of different bits are different you will put 0 and then you will create a new number that's the like x naught you have to do it like iteratively over the whole number but for ZOR you can use it this operator so that's the first logic for like finding out ZOR and x naught so let's move on to the code to make it even more clear so actually what actually I have done here is I have first printed out I, this is not actually the code this is just the code for printing out the first 10 numbers of both of these series so what actually I have done here is the first term and the second term for both C and D C and D stores the like ZOR series and X Noric series in which the first and second term is A and B then I will iterate over the second till the last term 10th term in which ci is just the zor of both of these numbers and di is xnor of both of these numbers but i have actually written on a function for it we will understand this function later but and then we we'll print out both of these series so let's understand like what the both of these series are printing so let's compile this and see so to then test case one let's take just some random number 197 and uh, like 4 okay now as you can see it is actually printing out the 10 numbers for both of the series 
now you can observe that the first term is same second term is same the third term is different then the first term is same second term is same third term is different and so on now just printing out the printing out the like 10 numbers you you are finding out the pattern that okay the two numbers are same for every three numbers like in a pair of or in a like tuple of three the first two numbers are same first two numbers are same so if you want to find out the maximum among both of them they are same but you just have a different at this position in which this is actually you can understand that if a, this is a this is b so this is like zor of a and b and this is like x naught of a and b so you just have to find out the zor and x naught of a and b at only one time and then you just have to find out okay at which position we are it is actually a tuple of three so we will do a mod of three and you will find out okay at which position we are in the whole series so that's the logic you can easily determine using just printing out the ter 10 terms so let's un like comment this out and see the actual code okay leaving down this part then the actual code I have actually written also here because n in the given question is from one indexed but I actually have to do it from zero index because this is zero terms your first term second term and then zero term first term second term zero term first term second term zero term first term second term that's all so on so subtract n minus one then c is just a zor b and d is x nor a and b now as you can easily see that if like n mod 3 is equal to the 0 then this is the first term in this tuple this is the first term so just output is just a if it is 1 the output is b and else the output is maximum of c and d so that's the logic now understand how x nor work like i understand the tell you the logic now understand the code you take the input of a and b and find out what is the maximum among a and b because you have to iterate over the maximum number okay so what you can do if a is small then swap a and b such that a is always the maximum among them if a and b both are zero then the answer is just one because if you do a x nor of zero and zero because they are same the answer is one then this is the remainder of a remainder of b which actually determine the last term or last bit of a and b cc is count and x nor is the final answer iterate over a because a is the larger one then remainder a it's actually provide out the last bit of a and the last bit of b like we are doing an and operation with the with a now so and operation with one so it will tell us okay the last bit is set or not if the last bit of a is equal to the last bit of b that means that you have to add a bit there in the x naught so x naught is or of we will do a right shift operator or sorry a left shift operator c number of times because it this operation this matching occurs at the cth point so you will do a left like left uh, shift c times and do an or operation with this x naught such that this bit will get added in this number then increase c++ plus plus and like cc++ plus plus in which like i have iterated over on the next while loop so c++ plus plus and then we will like right shift both a and b because now we have checked this rightmost bit now we have to discard this rightmost bit of both of these numbers and now because the rightmost bit has discarded the the next bit which is like the left to the rightmost bit will expose out because we are shifting it by one position and then we will check okay now this bit and so on and then we have to iterate over whenever the a becomes zero because a is like bigger and then a greater not x naught so i hope you understand the logic as well as the code for the question and if you still have any doubts, please mention now. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Keep coding. Bye.